After his death in 1987, there was a giant auction of his things. Andy must have been smiling down from heaven when his flea market cookie jars came on the block and the relic hunters went crazy. At 18, $19,000, $20,000 on the right. At 20,000, 21,000. At 21,000, fair warning. $21,000! If cheap cookie jars could become treasures in the 1980s, then how much more the work of the very egregious Jeff Coons, a former bond trader whose ambitions took him right through kitsch and out the other side into a vulgarity so syrupy, gross and numbing that collectors felt challenged by it. Sometimes his work was at least memorable, like this inflatable toy rabbit cast in stainless steel and turned into a parody of Brancusi's bird. He didn't make his own stuff, of course. No doubt Coons couldn't carve his name on a tree. He had European souvenir factories do that, creating delicious porcelain treasures to his design, like Michael Jackson with bubbles, and Leonardo's St. John. And it doesn't alienate anyone. I think that a young child could come in here, a five-year-old child, uh, could look and find some pleasure and some enjoyment, and I hope that it's something positive for humankind. Have you ever actually done any carving or modeling? Uh, no. 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 When I was a, a child, I uh, did some uh, modeling. But what, with plasticine or modeling with plasticine. Mm. But now uh, we're working here in my New York studio, and I have a staff of artists that I work with, which are uh, really uh, quite phenomenal. So you think the stuff up, but you don't make it? Uh, that's correct. I have to oversee everything here, and I have to make every decision, otherwise I'd have no relation to it at all. I'm pleased that there's a dialogue about my work, but there's some uh, misrepresentation. Uh, some people will think that my work is just about money. Certain aspects of my work are about money, because my work also talks about desire, but uh, the work's not about money. It's not about just making something to sell. I learned early on when I always worked with ready-made objects that I would do everything to care and protect that ready-made and uh, to preserve its integrity of uh, and every perfection and imperfection. And one day when I made a sculpture, uh, everything was a fiasco. And uh, I couldn't save the sculpture unless I really did something radical to it. And I realized at that moment that I really didn't care about objects. I cared about people. And that's where the imperfections were, and that's where the perfections were that I really uh, cared about. And so I feel a moral responsibility every time I make something to give something a uh, hundred percent because uh, that's who I care about. I care about the viewer. 